the elements that he's about to perform. Lauren de Munk of the Netherlands, fourth strongest in qualification, the 23-year-old from Harlem. So far, it's been a very calm start. He's been particularly good with the Vendish wings between the pommels. There's a traveling Vendish wing down from one end of the horse to the other. The crowd is most encouraging. Lauren de Munk, he seemed there. He was seen there. at these world championships, even from the very best. He was attempting to do his dismount, but he must complete it in order to get difficulty credit for the skill. That's why he has opted to jump up again and just do that. Joy Ryosuke of Japan who has looked so comfortable in his first World Championships. So confident, so composed. He comes into this as the sixth strongest in qualification. 14.466 was his score. Clean scissor to handstand to begin. That element is called a stone. Also, has exited the apparatus. Might be in contention here and might have a chance. And sometimes one is at one's most nervous when in contention. from Doya Vioske, but... Yeah. Reese McLennigan from Ireland, the top performer in qualification, the first ever Irish gymnast to win a World Championship medal when he took bronze in 2019. Swings on one pommel. Beautiful work so far. And between the pommels, these are some of the most difficult elements in the code of points on this apparatus. End. But we've got a fascinating spell now because the second and third strongest qualifiers come up next. Here is Steven Nedorozic, the reigning world champion. His clearance is extraordinary. And just like we saw from McLennigan, Vendor yeah. swings on one pommel and a sewn in both directions. However, he seems to be in trouble, but he's gotten it back. There was a clear break in form. It didn't last long. It will be significant. Now into the Magyar Shivado combination goes Steven Nedorozic. Working very hard to get round into the dismount, which he has done. And that was a masterful recovery from the reigning world. Kazakhstan, Nadiman Kurbanov. 
the postgraduate student in law at the Al Farabi National University in Almaty. He hopes to lay the law down on this final. He was the third best in qualification with 15.033. That would put him in second place now. He has wonderful lines and build for Pommel Horse. The long arms and long legs that make everything look so graceful. But he too has had a struggle and he too has clamped down on it incredibly. He did say that for this final, he would be adding more difficulty to his routine. All right, all right, all right. All right. He's there just about. Nadiman Kurbanov of Kazakhstan. An excellent. Into medal contention. But there is a gap for somebody to exploit. Ahmad Abu Al Soud of Jordan. The 27-year-old from Amman becomes the first Jordanian ever to take to a World Championship final. Congratulations to him, whatever happens now. He quite clearly has the reflexes to do pommel horse very well. The legs are completely glued together. So far, the swing has been very precise. And his last World Championships, he barely finished in the top 200. And look at it. Having a guaranteed place on the podium. Two veterans left. Filip Uday of Croatia. The seventh strongest in qualification and one of the greats on this piece. Does a long sequence of work on one pommel. The leg separation on the Wendeschwings is something that is characteristic for him. We've seen him do that before on the World Cup circuit. He has to mount the apparatus and go for it again. Not the final that Philip Uday hoped for. From 2019, only one gentleman can change things. It's the 38 year old reigning European champion, Armenia's Harutun Merdinian. The bronze medalist from Glasgow in 2015. On the big occasion, he has proven time and again that he is more than capable. Yeah. Impeccable form and fluid swing. Just seemed to have a touch of the unexpected there but he's still going and he's going very well and he's put himself surely into the picture Harachun Medinian of Armenia he concludes a quite extraordinary pommel horse final